DeWalt is launching an entirely new suite of core tools powered by their brand new 20 volt max power pack tabless battery system. We've got all the latest new tools and product announcements from DeWalt right now. Let's start with the power source that most of these new tools were built around, the Power Pack. Not to be confused with Power Stack, which is DeWalt's stacked lithium variant. The Power Pack is an 8 amp hour tabless design optimized to deliver more power in a smaller package with significantly less heat buildup. Unlike pouch cells, a tabless design makes use of the more traditional cylindrical battery cells. This improved jelly roll design, however, forces energy through multiple tabs to distribute power rather than passing through a single tab used in traditional cells. With the multiple tabs creating a larger surface area, the battery can conduct more energy, therefore providing users with increased power output and less resistance. These new batteries feature an impact resistant overmold, and the size of this new 8 amp hour battery is identical to DeWalt's standard 8 amp hour pack. We expect to see a lot of DeWalt's flagship quality tools kitted with these power pack 8 amp hour batteries in the future, and indeed, many of the tools I'm going to cover below do just that. These battery packs are available now, and you can get a single battery for $229 or a two pack for $329. Now, let's take a closer look at the new core tools that I've been hinting at so far. First up, the new DCD-1007 half-inch three-speed hammer drill. Compared to its predecessor, the FlexVault DCD-999, DeWalt boosted the power from 1,219 max watts out to 1,530 max watts out. The max hammer rate stays the same at 38,250 blows per minute. However, you're losing a bit of speed with this new model. The DCD-999 features 2,250 RPM, while the DCD-1007 reaches a max speed of 2,000 RPM. You're getting noticeably more torque at that speed, however, so that might explain this relatively insignificant drop. You get three speeds and 11 clutch settings with a foot-mounted LED light on the front of the tool. DeWalt also built in their Perform and Protect anti-rotation system, and that's gonna prevent kickback when the drill encounters an obstruction while drilling. The technology senses the rotational motion of the drill and shuts it down if that motion is too excessive or sudden. A red LED lights up at the foot of the tool when it goes into shutdown mode and reactivating the tool again with the trigger resets everything and lets you continue working. This drill is available right now for $249 as a bare tool and $349 as a kit with an 8 amp hour power pack battery and a charger. DeWalt is also adding a new 20 volt XR impact driver to its drilling and driving lineup, the DCF 860. Where the hammer drill only saw incremental performance gains, this new impact driver seems to be a big step up from the previous generation DCF845. If you're upgrading from that model, you're going to see boosts from 4200 impacts per minute to 4500, a speed increase from 3400 RPM to 3800 RPM, and an absolute monster jump in torque from 1825 inch-pounds to 2500 inch-pounds with the DCF860. This seems to be an upgrade on all fronts, emerging as the standalone flagship impact driver. In the past, you could basically take your pick between the DCF 887, 845, or 850. This one eclipses them all. The DCF 860 comes equipped with a standard quarter inch hex chuck that quickly connects with bits and accessories. DeWalt gives you nine built-in LEDs that surround the hex collet and a 20 minute work light mode to provide extra light on the job site. This impact driver also comes tool connect ready, so you can plug in the sold separately chip to add the asset management and tracking capabilities of the tool connect app. You can get this impact driver as a kit or a bare tool, and that kit comes with an eight amp hour power pack battery and a charger for $319. If you've already got a bunch of batteries, well the bare tool is gonna run you just $199. Switching to saws, DeWalt has their new 20 volt max circular saw that's coming to market. That's the DCS 590. This is the company's new flagship circular saw and DeWalt claims you can make up to 368 cuts per charge using that eight amp hour power pack battery. The brushless motor is pushing 1700 max watts out, reaching maximum speeds of 5500 RPM with no load. This saw features a maximum cut depth of two and nine sixteenths inches at 90 degrees and two inches at 45. The new saw is also compatible with DeWalt's airlock dust extractor or any standard 35 millimeter dust extractor. We're excited to get this saw in house. Now we just wrapped up a circular saw testing rig and DeWalt's last gen tool got the crown for the most powerful circular saw that we've ever tested. It'll be interesting to see how it performs against that saw and saws from other manufacturers. 
With the DCF 590, you'll get a standard blade brake, LED light, and integrated rafter hook along with Tool Connect capabilities. The saw is available now for $350 as a kit and $250 as a bare tool. Finally, rounding out this new wave of next generation core tools is their 20 volt max brushless reciprocating saw, the DCS 384. DeWalt claims this is its fastest cutting reciprocating saw with a one and one eighth stroke length operating at 3000 strokes per minute. The keyless blade change makes it quick and easy to get hot blades out and throw in a new one. And DeWalt tells us you can expect up to 102 cuts per charge with the power pack battery. We're intrigued by the promise of advanced vibration control on this new model. That was something that DeWalt wasn't the best at in the past. They say that the DCS384 is using a new internal counterbalance mechanism that's designed to limit vibration when cutting through a variety of materials. If our records are right, this is the longest standing core tool of the bunch to be replaced. And that being said, we're still shocked to see that this saw is still missing an orbital action mode and a variable speed switch, features that have become the norm among cordless reciprocating saws. $349 gets you the eight amp hour power pack kit and you can get the bare tool for $100 less at 250. Well, that's the lowdown on DeWalt's new power pack system and core tools. But before we get out of here, there's one more new product that I wanna share with you guys. Now this new plunge router features a brushless two and a quarter horsepower motor that easily handles bits up to two and a half inches in diameter. Its variable speed dial lets you go from 11,000 RPMs all the way up to 23,000 on the top end. It also features an integrated airlock dust collection port and an anti-rotation system to keep you safe in case of an accidental bind-up. The DeWalt DCW620's three-position adjustable turret stop helps you make quick depth adjustments, and the tool-free plunge lock lever lets you engage and disengage the lock easily without having to remove your hands from the handle. The router is available now for $349 as a bare tool. To wrap it all up, we can't wait to get our hands on the new power pack system. Do some comparative testing and even share our test results with you guys using the new DeWalt core tools. You can find a link to our new DeWalt tools article in the description and we've tagged links to some of the new products down below as well. But now we wanna hear from you in the comments. Do you plan on picking any of these up? Are there any news releases that we didn't mention that you're excited for? We also do these new tool videos from Milwaukee Ryobi, and a hodgepodge of other brands. So subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for our next round of new tool announcements. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. It really helps out the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.